Hi! Today I'd like to show you how to get your photos off of your camera onto your computer. There's a little trap door in the bottom of your camera and you slide it open and inside you can see there's a battery compartment and in the battery compartment there's also a place for your storage disk. If you push on it gently it will pop up. Pull it out, you can see there's one side that has plastic with the label and the other side has the contacts. Close your compartment to your camera and to, do, to get your photos onto your computer you need to have one of these. This is a card reader and I ordered it off of Amazon for about $12. There are two slots in here for two different sizes of the card cards. I'm using SanDisk. I really like SanDisk. They also come in smaller micro sizes. The next step is to insert the card reader without your card into your computer. And then I'm going to put this card into my computer. Once you do that, a lot of computers are set up to bring up the, the native program to import. For example, I'm running Final Cut Pro right now and so it wants to import that into this Final Cut program. I do not want to do that because I'm not going to use these photos on this video or for that purpose. So I'm going to close this out and I just want to show you how to get it simply straight from the menu on the Mac. There are other ways of bringing in photos. Another application that you can use to get your photos on is Image Capture, which comes in on your Mac and under Applications. Image Capture right here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this the simplest way possible. Just get your files off of that SanDisk, off that external flash drive, onto your computer. So I'm going to go over here, and when I put that in, this when I put the card reader in, I can find that it appeared over here as untitled because I have not titled this flash drive yet. And under Untitled, I'm going to click Untitled and it comes up with Private. I, so let's go over here and start screen recording as well. So over here, we can find it on this menu down here and record. These are all the external drives that I have plugged in. Untitled, One Touch, Elements, Extreme, SSC. But I know that the Untitled is my flash drive. So I'm going to click on it, go to Private, you remember the clip, and here's where you find all the clips of the videos that you just took. The thumbnail will have a thumbnail image of each one as well. And I'm going to find, I'm going to click on them and drag them. Oh, to, to do this, you need to press one. Then if you push the shift bar, you can select all at the same time. Or another way to do it is to select one, then use your command key to select the other ones that you want to drag over. And I'm going to drag them over into the folder that I want to store them in, which is this drive right here, and this year. And I store my photos by date and by project. So I'm going to drag these into there and go over to the clip and do the same thing. Drag these into And those will take a while because those videos are a little bit long. But that's all there is to it. And then when you want to finish, I have to wait for the videos to finish spooling over here, otherwise I would forfeit that download. So once this is completed, then I can eject this sand disk, but I'm going to wait until they're finished. It says about two more minutes. When you're storing photos, you want to try to set up a system that works for you. Typically people use dates as well as project names. Your camera records everything by a date and assigns a specific number to it. And sometimes when I have the time, not that often, I'll go back and rename some of my files. But most often I just store it by date and then put it within a folder that has a project name. So we're still waiting for this to complete. It has about a minute left. Do not eject your flash drive until all of your videos and your photos are off of it. Otherwise, you might erase it or damage it. And it is now complete. And now we can come over here, click on this to make sure it's highlighted. And you're going to double click this eject button by pushing a double click. And there, now I can remove it. The next step of what I do is to insert it back into the camera. And I want to format to erase all those pictures so that I do not have them taking up space. So I turn on my camera and I go to menu and I keep it on format until I need to use another setting. Format it says all data will be deleted. Cannot use the format of memory card when set to pal. Do I want to format? And I push the wheel up to push enter, enter. Now it is formatting their memory card. 
everything's going to be erased, so make sure that you have saved it onto your computer or your hard drive or an external drive so that you don't lose all your photos. The format is complete, and now this disk is completely erased, and I can start with my next videos or my next photos. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them.